Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefine Horizons. This is another Field Survey Friday video. In this video, we're going to tell you about the basic types of field surveys. I can't believe I haven't recorded this video already. I thought it was on the YouTube channel. I looked today, it's not. So, shame on me. I'm sorry, but we're getting it done today. We're going to talk about the four basic kinds of field surveys. Okay, this is categorized according to Landon Blake. So, <laughs> there are other ways to categorize field surveys. And um, I will probably get hate mail uh, indicating that I've forgotten some key type of field survey, but this is the, the basic, four basic types of field surveys that we do here in my shop at Redefine Horizons, okay? So, first type of survey is what we call a control survey. That's where we're gonna go out. We're gonna establish really accurate coordinate values, horizontal and vertical, on a key set of monuments or control points. Okay, and so I, I break those down a little bit further. We have what we call uh, con site control surveys. That's where we're doing control over a fairly, lim fairly limited area for a specific project. We have what we call geodetic control surveys. Those are usually over much larger areas. We're typically doing those with GPS. Okay, and there's, there's some different considerations that go into those kinds of surveys. And then you might also break those control surveys out just based on the primary method of survey. So a leveling survey, GPS survey, or a total station survey. Okay, so those are control surveys. Uh, one thing that makes control surveys unique is all the other three kinds of surveys require control. So you may be doing some control surveying as part of these other three types of field surveys, but then we also, at times, we will do standalone, standalone control surveys, field work. Hey, the second type of survey we have is what we call topographic surveys. That's where we're going out to make measurements that can be used to draw a topographic map of some kind. So we want to know what, what's on the surface of the earth. What does it look like? Okay, again, I can break those into three basic, basic types. We have ground topographic surveys, aerial topographic surveys, and hydrographic surveys. Okay, in this case, we're, we're interested in what's under the water. Hydrographic surveys. Okay, ground surveys. Again, you can break that out based on the type of instrument that's being used primarily. So it could be a survey done with RTK, RTN. It could be total station survey, or it could be terrestrial laser scanning or terrestrial LIDAR. Okay, but the basic goal is the same. Aerial surveys now can be broken out into UAV aerial surveys and traditional aerial surveys. And there's some key differences in how those are executed and the kind of products you get. But the, the basic concept is the same. You're surveying topography using measurements from, from photographs primarily. Okay, and then hydrographic surveys, again, are underwater, and you can break those out into a couple primary types just based on, again, the type of instrument that you use. So you have what's called single beam or single echo. Okay, that's where you're just getting one ping, a single ping off of your, off of your sounder. And then you have what's called side scan or bottom scan. That's more like terrestrial laser scanning, except it's in the water. Okay. Then you have my favorite type here, number three, boundary surveys. Okay, that's where you're going out to collect uh, locations of property, corner monuments, uh, locations of physical occupation, fences, walls, buildings, that kind of thing. So you can uh, resolve parcel boundaries. Then we have construction surveys. We don't do a ton of that here at my shop, but it's another main, main type of field survey. Okay, and I, again, you can break that out. So we have layout surveys or, or construction staking, right? That's where you're going to lay some proposed improvement out on the ground so it can be built. You have the as-built surveys, that's where you go and survey what's already been constructed. Okay, so it's a little bit like a topographic survey, but you're typically doing that right after construction to make sure that the constructed, constructed improvement, physical improvement, whatever it is, meets the plans and the specs. Okay, and then you have monitoring surveys. So in that case, you're either monitoring infrastructure or buildings that are next to what's the next to the construction zone to make sure they're not being disturbed by construction. That's the more typical. Or you might actually be monitoring structures and infrastructure as they get built. Um, you're usually checking for things like settle, settling or displacement. Okay, so there you go. Those are the four types of surveys. Control, topographic, boundary, construction. Those are the four main categories. Some of the subtypes that go into that. And so you should be able to answer some basic questions about uh, these types of surveys and and what they're used for on your CST exam or your LSIT exam. Hopefully this video will help. This is just an introduction. We will hopefully do some more videos where we get into uh, some more de detail about each of the types of field surveys and the kind of data you they, pr they produce and, and how you plan them and execute them and what kind of field notes you need to have when you come back. 
for each of these different types of surveys. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next Field Survey Friday video.